games tell us something about the culture from which they emerge. Um, they tell us a lot about the values of that culture. Uh, they tell us about the identity of that culture, or at least how the people uh, in charge of making the games view the identity of that culture. We've had a lot of good discussions recently in the world of video games about identity, about representation of different people's identities in video games, uh, about what we might call diversity. Um, I think that for a long time, video games had a problem. They didn't represent um, everyone in our communities of play very well. Um, they only showed a few people from those communities, maybe the people who were most common, which uh, at times might have been um, white men or white boys. Um, but now things are changing. I think it's a mistake, by the way, to think that uh, our communities were ever uh, um, only made up of one group in the way that I just suggested. I think that the communities of play around video games have always been very diverse. There's always been um, uh, people um, uh, from many different genders playing video games, people of uh, many different uh, ethnicities, um, people with many different sexual orientations. But now, finally, we're starting to see better representations of all of those players as characters in the game. Uh, and I think that this is leading to even better games. Uh, games are a great way for us to discuss culture, to discuss our own experiences uh, and communicate those experiences to other people in a way that's participatory and interactive so that, uh, yeah, I can really have you explore my world uh, in perhaps some new ways uh, than you've been able to do so before. And uh, yeah, I think this is leading to richer games, games um, that are narratively richer, but also richer in terms of their game mechanics, opening up new areas of possibility. And I'm very happy and excited about that.